Hi guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, thank you so much for clicking on play on this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Um, if you leave a red heart in the comment, I'll be sure to say a personal hello to you. We are gonna do a vlog today. I've already kind of done an introduction, so uh, let's jump in and I'll tell you all about it. It is Thursday morning and I thought that this week I would take you on a little day with me um, because I haven't got a craft project that I'm going to have finished by the weekend. I've got one that I started last night and another one that I'm planning on starting this afternoon possibly um, but I thought I would instead take you along for the day with me so I'm going to show you one of the craft projects I'm doing we are going to go to Hobbycraft so I'm going to take you into Hobbycraft with me um, I've got some work to do I've got a video that I need to edit Tuesday's video that should have gone up on Tuesday that's not gone up on Tuesday it's going to go up tonight instead so I've got that to do um and we are hopefully going to go over to um a little um English heritage property today if we've got time and then we're going to a barbecue this evening with friends so we've got a lot going on today so I thought it'd be a good day to um bring you along for the ride um, I have just got dressed, washed my face um, and I have to say that I am so hot. It is ridiculously warm today. I don't know what the temperature is. I haven't been downstairs. I haven't looked at my computer yet to check but um, it's, I'm just, I'm just sweating just sitting here. It's disgusting. Um, so that's a thing. I hope you are coping in there. We just, I just don't think English people are used to extreme weather um, in this country. It's like when we go abroad, we expect it. And I don't know, our bodies seem to adapt for the week that we're away, that it's like it's, it's copable. But this is just, it just makes everything it's because you don't do anything on holiday. You chill on holiday. Um, so I think that's what it is. But there we go. Okay, so I told you guys that I was going to do my own bralette um, after I completed my daughter's and I started last night and I made one of the cups but I'm not really happy with the way it works. So I do like the pattern, it's called lemon peel, so I like the pattern, however it's a little bit pointy and I don't like it, it doesn't sit right. And this is the small to medium. And again, measuring it up on me, I'm like, I feel like it's a little bit too small. So what I'm thinking of doing is the same pattern, but using the other cup method um, that I used on my daughter's where I can actually make my cup size because the video that I followed did cups A to E, I think, um, so I can actually do my cup size and then that should be fine for me so um i am going to undo this it's just so it's like madonna boobs and i'm not not a fan um so i'm going to undo this and do a different style and see if that works better i could make this bigger and she does give you the stitch length and what you need to do for a larger bust um but again it's like adding I could go down here and add on because that's what we did we started off with a square and then we went down both sides to create this curve and then just carried on um crocheting so I could definitely make it bigger but I'm kind of done with doing things and making them bigger <laughs> because I think they're not going to fit properly I just don't like that shape so I'm I'm going to undo it and I'm going to do the other style cup and hopefully um hopefully it'll it'll work out a little bit better so that was what I started last night I didn't actually video any of that because I was sitting down just watching telly and just thought I'd start um so I will show you that as I'm doing it I might take it in the car on the drives that we're doing today um and then I'm looking at starting my dress. So we're going to Hobbycraft for um, a rotary cutter and a bigger 
cutting mat. Um, so we will we will see how far we get and I will bring you along for the journey. So let's go. So I got a little distracted in the kitchen as I do. I see something that needs cleaning and you know, that table had been doing my head in for a couple of weeks. I want to get rid of it completely. Um, and I'd like to do like a little bar up against the wall um, and have a couple of stools and then have the cat food underneath there because it just collects extra stuff. And we haven't really, I mean, we've got a lot of storage in our kitchen. We're very lucky, but we seem to have filled it. And I've got all of those bottles of champagne and rosé champagne, Prosecco and stuff like that. I don't really drink it. I'm not a huge drinker at all. Like, it's literally, and there was a bottle of Baileys there as well. So I got the Baileys for my birthday. I got the Prosecco for my birthday. Um, and I got the champagne for my birthday last year on my 40th. That's how much I drink. Um, and it all just sits there. And, oh, actually, I think that champagne might be terry's champagne from her 21st birthday but again she doesn't drink champagne um so we just it we just collect alcohol um i'm just i'm not interested <laughs> it just doesn't float my boat i'd rather eat my calories than drink them um so yeah need to sort that out and and move that stuff um so that we can get rid of that table because it takes up a lot of space in there we can't we can open the fridge and the freezer fully, but the chairs are also stacked up in the corner for them. So it's great to have the extra space, but there's just there's just nowhere to store it. So unless we um, get a shed that we can put it in, I just we don't really entertain enough to have the extra table. We've got this one that sits um, eight people in the dining room and we just don't need that other one. So we might put it on Facebook Marketplace or something, I don't know. But I would just like a a bench seat so we could sit up there and have a cup of tea and um, have our breakfast um, if we want to sit in there and just quickly have something. And I think that would sit better in there. And then I'll be moving my clothes rail in there and putting it down the side of the fridge freezer when it's not in use so it's out of the way um so yeah i've got a bit of work that i need to get on with so shouldn't take me too long um i might start editing the video as well um because i'm not really sure how today's gonna go because i've got that I always want to get too much done in the day. Are you like that? Just to, just want to do too much with my time. And then I always overbook myself. And then it's just like, well, you haven't got time to do everything, Donna. So we will see how far we get. So, um, yeah, let's just get this little bit of work done. And then we can go to Hobbycraft. Um, go and pick up my cat biscuits. So we have to have special biscuits for Twinkle because she has um, kidney failure slowly um, started a year or so ago. So she's on, she, we don't give her McDonald's anymore. Felix and Whiskers, the vet said that's like McDonald's for cats. Um, so she actually is really pampered and she gets um, tinned tuna, she gets... Um, cooked minced beef, she gets chicken thighs, I think that's it, and she gets a bit of salmon when we have salmon, I'll give her a bit of salmon, so yeah, she gets all of hers freshly cooked, and then these, um, these, what are they called, biscuits, biscuits that are gastro- something or other um that help her so we have to order those in we need to pick those up from the post office there's been a bit of a mix up with that but hey ho we move <laughs>
good news. We don't have to go to the post office. The postman actually came and delivered what we were looking for. So if you actually ask Royal Mail um, to not deliver on the day that they say they're going to deliver and to deliver on a different day, apparently they completely ignore you. Their automated system takes it all on board and sends you out all the reminders to say that they're going to do it. Um, then they actually try and deliver it on the day they were originally going to do it and put a card through your door saying that it's going to be at the post office for you to collect the next day but then their automated system catches up with them and they deliver it so <clears throat> is what it is the delivery came um, and I'm glad it came because when the door knocked I left the living room to go and answer the door Matthew was already upstairs and a black and white cat that does not belong to me shot down the stairs and out the house um followed kitty in I think so there we go so I have done my little bit of work I'm now editing the video for this evening um, I've had my lunch it is 1 15 so I'm hoping that I can get this done quite quickly and up then we can go to hobby craft then hopefully the bead house and then we are off to barbecue we need to be over there at 6 30 it takes us an hour from here to get there so I don't know how far it is from where we're going but um we will see so let's get this video edited and up for you guys the video done it's just exporting um don't know how long that's going to take it doesn't usually take too long um uploading and getting the hd version on youtube takes longer so i am going to just write out my description part for the um for the youtube video itself um, so that it's ready to go when I get there. Um, before I do that, I did want, oh, there I am. I did want to actually say a thank you. I wrote down some of the names of people who've recently subscribed to the channel that have come through on my email. So I wanted to say thank you to Emma, Tracy, Linda, Margie, Kendall, and Nancy for joining me and subscribing over here on Donna's Waxy Wonderland. Um, if you are new, as I have said previously, leave a red heart in the comments and I will say a personal hello and thank you to you there. Um, I really appreciate the support guys so um, if you haven't yet subscribed hit that subscription button and that notification bell um, and you will see lots of home crafting, um, home fragrance um, and a little bit of decluttering now and then when it needs doing. Um, so yeah I'm going to get on with that video description and we will see where we get to. We are now at 145 so it's taken me what half an hour to edit that which isn't too bad really um hopefully we will get over to Lydon and we've got to go over to Hobbycraft I want to do that because I am procrastinating on starting my dress project because I haven't got a rotary cutter and I feel like a rotary cutter will be better for cutting out a pattern rather than just cutting material I'd use my shears um and I need a cutting mat that is bigger than the one that I use um, for my smaller projects because I don't want to cut into my table when I'm cutting out the bigger pattern pieces so um, that is what we are going over for and um, yeah we'll just see how it works out I might do the mapping might do the mapping first so um, sad news guys I have done the the mapping out of where we are where we're going and then where we need to get to and the timing just doesn't add up. Um, so the Liddington Bead House is north from where we are, which is fine because so are our friends. However, they are northwest almost directly. Um, and where is, let me find, that's what that's, so yeah, so they are northwest, almost like nice diagonal on the northwest line and 
the bead house is very north um, and it normally takes us an hour from here to get to our friends but it's going to take an hour and a half from the bead house and so an hour and a half and that's at rush hour as well because we'd be looking at leaving at about five o'clock because I think it shuts at five so we can't stay any later than that so leaving anywhere at five o'clock to try and get somewhere is just going to be a nightmare um so it'll probably take longer than an hour and a half if we left at five which means we'll be late for our friends um but if you say that we stayed there until five it takes us 40 minutes to get from Hobbycraft to there, which five o'clock backwards would be 10 past four and it's almost two o'clock. So that only gives us two hours to get to Hobbycraft, which is 15 minutes from where we are now, go around, get our stuff and go around the bead house. So it's not enough time to um, give it the energy that it deserves. So we're not gonna be able to make it to the bead house, which is really, really sad. Um, but yeah, and I'm not sure that I'll be able to do much vlogging when we get to the barbecue, which is a shame. So I might make this a two day vlog and share with you what we do tomorrow because we are planning to go to Bletchley tomorrow. So um, we have been once before, we went in November for my other half's birthday and oh my days, it was freezing. It was so, so cold. Um, so we thought we'd do it in the summer when it's nice and warm because the great thing about Bletchley was that when you bought your ticket, it becomes an annual pass and you can go any time um, for one year for free. So um, that's a really good tip. A lot of um, historical places. Blenheim Palace does that, Bletchley does it um, and we actually got a discount on our tickets in the first place because we used our English Heritage um, tickets so um, yeah so that's the plan for tomorrow so maybe I will bring you along on that so you get to see something. I should have brought you along yesterday when we went to Kelmarsh but I just wanted to really enjoy it but I'll pop some pictures in of um, Kelmarsh no, it wasn't Kelmarsh. I keep saying it was Kelmarsh. It wasn't. It was Kirby Hall. We went to Kirby Hall, which was really beautiful. Um, uh, pretty run down and derelict, which was a s sad. It was sad to see it. But um, the history and everything was really interesting to read. Um, if you don't know, I'm a bit of a history buff. I did history for my degree. I absolutely love all the kings and queens. And it just makes my heart happy to sort of look back at you know, those those quaint times. I mean, there was a lot wrong with it, I know, um, but I just love the whole um, formality of it, of going to afternoon tea and being invited to people's houses. And oh, I don't know, I just like all the pomp and circumstance of the era. Um, so yeah, so we're not gonna be able to go to the bead house today, which is a shame, but I will bring you along for the rest of it. So uh, it is the next day, it is around lunchtime. We're going to go to Bletchley Park. Matthew's got the car running to get the aircon and it's so hot in there, I just can't get in there right now. Um, it's gonna be noisy in the car because of the aircon, so I'm not gonna be able to do any letting you know what's going on whilst we're traveling. So I thought I would just say hi to you guys um, before we get started. So I've got my water, I'm all sun creamed up. I've got my crochet with me. I've got my notepad and pen with me. Um, I was deleting loads of photos off my phone last night to try and help with the storage issue. Um, and I actually made myself sick in the car because I do get travel sick from reading and stuff. So the concentration made me feel really sick. So I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. Um, but we're off to Bletchley. For a few hours um, to see what we missed last time and hopefully we don't melt. Mm -hmm.
Cobra has confirmed the lies have been swallowed. Mathematicians and engineers are developing the world's first electronic computer. They are deciphering messages faster than ever before. At the 11th hour, they report, Hitler believes the Allies will land at Calais. The invasion begins. Allied forces land on the beaches of Normandy. They strike out into France and fight their way to Berlin. our trip of Bletchley. I didn't record as much as I would like to have done. It was just so hot guys. I mean it's only just cooling down now in the shade but there was sweat on my sweat. It's uh, it's boiling. So Matthew is actually over in the car getting the air con sorted um, so I don't have to get into a really hot car. Bless him. He's so good to me. Um, but that is it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back next week with a crafting video um, and obviously during the week with my Sensi. So if you would like to uh, continue to join me on that journey, then please do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out. If you are new here, pop a red heart in the comments below. I'll be sure to say a hello especially to you and thank you for tuning in if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye for now